Hi there and welcome to this video series where I'll be searching for the best trading strategy for cryptocurrency trading. In each video I'm going to test a strategy that is explained in a YouTube video, trading site or is publicly available for use. Each strategy will be tested on its performance by trading multiple digital asset pairs over the largest possible backtesting period. The result of this test is then compared with the results of earlier tested strategies. If you like these videos and you want to see more of them, then please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to get notified on my newest content, then click on the bell icon. It will also help the YouTube algorithm. Please remember that this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. Everything you see here is hypothetical and based on historic data, so there's no guarantee the investigated strategy will work in the future. I'm also not a professional, so always do your own research or consult a professional before using any information in real trading. In this video I'm going to test one of the strategies that is available on the GitHub website for FragTrade. This specific strategy comes from a directory within the FragTrade strategies repo and is collected or developed by a guy called Berlin Guy and CA. I have tested some of his strategies earlier and decided to test all of his strategies to see if one of them provides the best profit against the lowest possible risk. And this video is the second part of a trilogy of scalping strategies that are roughly using the same indicators and settings but they each differ on certain approaches. The smooth scalp strategy is building on the earlier tested scalp strategy and we will discover if this one is better for trading on a small time frame than the other one. Let's open this file and see what the code does. The ROI of this strategy is 1%. This means that the strategy will sell when the trade reaches a 1% profit. And this was the same with the earlier tested scalp. Next the strategy has a stop loss of 5%. And this tells me that the strategy should at least have a win rate of 5 to 1 to get break even. The earlier tested scalp code had a stop loss of 4% and this is where the differences start to show now. Both the scalp and smooth scalp are 1 minute strategies, so there's not much difference here. Here you can see that there will be an exponential moving average of the close price over the last 5 candles added to the data frame. And also a band of 2 other moving averages will be formed around the EMA. An upper band that uses the high price of the day and the lower one EMA that uses the low price of the day. And all 3 EMAs use the data of the last 5 candles as you see here. Now just like in the scalp strategy, a fast stochastics with a setting of 5, 3 and 3 will be used. And also the ADX will be part of the data frame. Next there will be some additional indicators added that will likely determine the buying or sell signals. The first added indicator is the commodities channels index and the second one is the RSI indicator and the third one is the money flow indicator. And here you can see that there are some additional graphing indicators added to the data frame. Like the Bollinger Bands and you can also see that the MACD is added to the data frame. Now the buy signals are given when the open price of the candle is lower than the lower EMA band. And the ADX indicator is higher than 30, the MFI indicator should be lower than 30, and the Stochastics Fast K and Fast D indicators are both lower than 30, and at the same time fast K should be crossing above the fast D. And finally the CCI indicator should be lower than minus 150. The sell signal will occur when the following condition is met. The open price of the candle is equal or higher than the exponential moving average over the high of the last 5 candles. Or the fast stochastics fast K should have a crossover above the 70 level. Or the fast stochastics fast D should cross over that 70 level. And finally a sell signal only occurs if one of the earlier indicators meet their criteria at the same moment the CCI indicator is higher than 150. So as you can see the RSI nor Bollinger Bands or the MACD are actually used here to create buy or sell signals. These are probably just here for graphing purposes and do not interact with the strategy. So let's test this strategy on my default backtest timeframes and also on the 1 minute timeframe to see which timeframe comes out the best. And here as you can see 
According to the backtest, over all the available time periods I have the following results. This time the one day time frame is not the winner, it's the 30 minutes time frame, so that's a nice thing to have in mind. Also the total profit of the strategy is only a measly 10% and the drawdown is 242%, but the win rate is very high, 84%, and with a risk of ruin with less than 1%, this strategy actually looks like something. However, the smooth scalp strategy is one of the few strategies that performed better on the lower time frames. And with the high win rate of 84%, it actually looks like something. But the measly 10% as I said, over more than 2700 trades, looks a little bit disappointing. So yeah, I don't know what to say about this strategy at this point. Here as you can see from the results of the backtest on the 30 minute time frame, you can see that the amount of sell signals does take a large toll of the profit of this strategy because it drains the profit almost totally in less than a quarter of the amount of wins. So there is definitely work to do on the exit indicators if you want to use this strategy. But maybe we can prove this by improving the win rate of the ROI and the stop loss setting to stop out quicker or maybe slower. So let's start with the hyperop session to find out more. As with the scalp strategy, the hyperopt changed the ROI to a higher percentage with the lowest of 2.5% take profit after a certain amount of time. Further, the stop loss was also widened for more breathing space for trades. So for a time frame of 30 minutes, a larger take profit percentage also is improving the profitability of a scalping strategy. Furthermore, the win rate will go down because the amount of exit signals goes higher in comparison with the amount of trades that are happening. The amount of pairs that are profitable also goes up, so this strategy is also applicable to a wider range of trading pairs. And finally, the risk of ruin is higher than previous, but I wish some of my other strategies had such a low ROR. So let's see how this strategy performs in comparison with the earlier tests. But before I do that, I quickly want to inform you about the way I do these tests. In this overview, I have written down the setup for these tests and also the methods to try to find the best strategy. And this is the way I do these back tests to find the most profitable strategy. You can always use this as an inspiration to develop your own methodology. And I always strongly recommend you to do your own research after watching my videos. Develop your own way of testing and get confidence in your methodology. Now I also have a special note for this video. From the previous video where I have tested the profitability of the scalp strategy and during the back tests and analysis of this smooth scalp strategy, I noticed that I made an error in the way I should rate the performance. In hindsight I had too much weight on the win rate and risk of ruin and less of the amount that a strategy could make profit. So I have decided to change my performance calculation and added a weight factor to the amount of profit a strategy could potentially provide. This way the strategies that could potentially provide massive gains while having reasonably winning rates are rewarded more than those that are less or barely profitable but have super high win rates. So in short I have rebalanced my risk appetite to have a higher risk in order to make more profit. And this also shows you two additional things. First, that you don't have to be afraid to come back to earlier decisions or methods after you discover that you have made a calculation or other thinking error. This only will improve your future success and proves that you have learned something from your mistakes. Anyway, this will not change my league too much, but some earlier tested strategies will move a little bit. And also my second point. This also provides that you should always do your own research and use your own methods as a way to determine which trading strategy is the right one for you. Now, enough said about this, let's see how the smooth scalp fits into the overall strategy league with the new performance weighings. And as you can see, because from now on the profit weighs higher than in earlier tests, this strategy performs as one of the worst until now. Now I have to say that every strategy that could potentially could give you more gains than leaving your money on the bank is per definition not a bad one, but you have to consider the risk of trading and investing as well. And on this time frame the strategy performs quite good if you compare it to other strategies that could only perform well on the daily time frame. So there is actually nothing to be ashamed if you look at the performance. 
The only reason that it performed worse than the scalp strategy is that it has a much higher drawdown. But that's also the risk on this time frame. Maybe after I corrupting it on the daily it could even perform better. But I leave it up to you to investigate this. And maybe you can give a reply in the comment section below on your findings. And with this we're at the end of this video. So I want to thank you for watching and as always please click on the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so. And also click on the bell icon if you want to get notified on my newest videos. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.